Jamie Rye writes, Hey all at Movie Talk, viewer from England here. Now that the X-Men Apocalypse trailer has been released, which 2016 comic book movie do you st- do you think had the better trailer? I have to go for Suicide Squad. The soundtrack to it, the look at all the characters, and of course the Joker did it for me as well as giving nothing away. Apocalypse trailer won me over as he looks nowhere near as daft as he did in the promotional photos. Not a fan of Oscar Isaac's Apocalypse voice choice, though. Keep up the good work, and oh my god, only six more days till I see Star Wars! Exclamation point, exclamation. <laughs> Point. All right, Mark, what's your favorite comic book uh, movie trailer well, of the if year? Well, if we're talking about the most recent ones that came out, it's a pretty good fight between the most recent Batman v Superman and X-Men Apocalypse. I might give the slight edge to Apocalypse just on the recent trailers because of what Batman v Superman gave away, whereas Apocalypse didn't give away too much. If we're going to have more of a fair fight, I think it's definitely between Suicide Squad's Comic-Con trailer and Batman v Superman's Comic-Con trailer. I'm going to give the slight edge to Batman v Superman simply because... It's got Batman and Superman in it. But Suicide Squad looks great, too, and the trailer the trailer really sold me on on the look that David Ayer is going for. For recent ones, I would actually have to go with uh, Marvel's uh, Captain America Civil War. Right, right. Uh, overall, I would go with the Batman v Superman trailer, the Comic-Con version. Mm-hmm. I, I, was, I think I'm the only one at Clyde that did not like that Batman v Superman trailer that just got released. I didn't like the tone of it. I didn't like the editing. I didn't like that they revealed so much. I just, it, it didn't, it actually made me a little more nervous. I'm still excited about seeing the film, but I'm, I'm I'm a little more nervous. And when I tweeted out that I didn't like it, man, half the people were were with me, and the other half were like, "You're crazy, Dennis. What's wrong with you?" And I don't know. I just I, I didn't feel. I'm it sorry, at all. man. I get drunk on Twitter yes. sometimes. Yes. I apologize. It's a three way fight for me. I got Civil War up there for sure. I got uh, Suicide Squad and Deadpool. Those are the three for me that I I think because to me the Deadpool trailer is everything that I wanted to see as far as this character goes. And the reason I like Deadpool and Suicide Squad so much is because they're brand new. We haven't seen a Deadpool movie. Suicide Squad, to have the villains running the running the show is, is going to be a lot of fun. The tie-in to Batman versus Superman, I'm really excited. And, and after seeing Fury and watching what David Ayer did for that mm-hmm. movie, um, those are the two that I really am looking forward to. And I thought their trailers painted a great picture. But Civil War... Unlike both Apocalypse and Batman v Superman, this is a franchise I'm already familiar with, but still wanted made me feel like it was brand new, and I wanted to see more of it. And it's furthering the story in that moment between Captain America and Tony Stark, yeah. and it was it's uh, Winter Soldier at the end. Yeah, Civil War to me, I thought was the best trailer to paint what they're upcoming. It's pretty much so. It, it's great when you're a comic book fan and you can be like, oh yeah, the trailer I like the least is the one that maybe gave away a little bit too right. much. They all, all these <laughs> movies are definitely going to be on my most anticipated of 2016 list. If we can include the trailer and the pregame speech before the trailer, it would definitely be David Ayer for Suicide Squad. Oh, remember remember Comic Con? Yes. He got on stage before showing the trailer, and I love the confidence, the bravado that he knows he made a great film because he's up there and he's just talking about how great villains are and Marvel, that other company's got a bunch of heroes, but we got the bad guys, and he was ready to go. Yeah, What also what I liked about the Marvel Civil War trailer is that it it does show Captain America versus Iron Man. That's kind of the main focus right. of that trailer, where Batman v Superman, we kind of lost that in mm-hmm. the most recent one. Cut out that last 20 seconds, and it was a different conversation, for, for me anyway. I still didn't like the Lex L- Luthor tone. Okay. Dennis wants to cut it. out the, the last two minutes and 20 seconds. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> oh. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.